Verizon Fios. Oh, I will never forget the day I first experienced it. I ordered the fastest internet connection possible, and now, today, it's even faster and better at 300 megabits per second. I remember all my friends were jealous. No one had it at the time. And of course, in addition to internet, Fios also delivers full digital television and phone service. Now, as happy as I was to accept it and have it, I also wondered how it all worked. Luckily, I was able to convince my friends over at Verizon to let us take a sneak peek behind the curtain to show you guys how Fios actually works. I finished the pool, can we go now? Oh, okay, sure. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, remember, Fios combines TV, internet, and phone services all on a single fiber optic cable at your house. But each of those services has to come from somewhere, right? So here we are at a facility called a VHO, or Video Hub Office. This is where the TV channels come from. Now we're standing in the control center where a team of Verizon engineers monitors every single channel 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. He is not the father. They've built a sophisticated set of custom tools to help automate the job. For example, this system automatically changes channels every few seconds and looks for patterns that resemble outages. If it sees a problem, it notifies the engineer here on duty. Although the operations center is usually the first to know if there's a problem, sometimes they get escalations from the customer help desk when several customers report an issue. So they had this system installed that leaves the building and comes back in just like a customer connection does. This lets them troubleshoot even if it appears that everything is working perfectly here at the facility. Verizon actually brings in over 540 channels, including local ones, here into the VHO via the antennas up on John Nicholas Posazidis, get your butt down here. You, that's not safe. I'm not going to believe it until I see it with my own eyes. Good God, man, that's a lot of antennas. Well, that's great, but get down here because we got to go see how they get the awesome internet. Yeah, that whole internet thing's a fad anyway. Okay, we've traveled across town to a very special building called a central office. This super secret and super secure location has been providing the phone service for an entire community for over 50 years. And now there's also a bunch of brand new fiber optic equipment in there to bring this community into the 21st century. Let's go take a look. Wow. All these thousands and thousands of cables you see here are all the phone lines that start here and run miles away to homes in all the adjacent neighborhoods. It's really amazing to think that this is how people have communicated for nearly a century. What's even more amazing though is that this one little glass cable can carry thousands of times the data that all those copper cables can combined. But where did John go? Oh my God, John, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be touching that. Hon, don't, don't, don't be silly, okay? Uh, we've got to take that signal from the VHO and route it through the EDFAs and into the WDMs. And then from there, we, I mean, let me tell you something, that internet backbone over there is not going to connect itself to that reconfigurable optical ad drop multiplexer, okay? And if I don't connect the terminal to the waveline division multiplexer, you're not going to get any dial tone, okay? Oh, okay, well, what I think John is trying to tell you is that the video signal coming from the Video Hub office has to be amplified and split several times so it can be routed to each of the neighborhoods this central office serves. The EDFA, or Erbium Doped Fiber Amplifier, takes care of that for us. Next, this central office has a massive internet backbone switch called a Rotom. It's a reconfigurable optical ad drop multiplexer. That, that switch handles 1.76 trillion bits per second. That means it could transfer an entire DVD faster than you can blink an eye, literally. 
Okay, so we have video, we have internet. The last piece of the puzzle is phone service, of course, and that's where this optical line duplexer comes in. Do you remember all those telephone service wires we were looking at before? Well, basically, this piece of equipment digitally connects to that network, and we plug it in along with the fiber from the EDFA and the Rotom into this WDM. It's a wavelength division multiplexer. It takes three different services and combines them as different spectrums of light onto a single fiber optic cable, which is now ready to ship off to a local neighborhood. We're just a few miles from the central office, and this is a fiber distribution hub, an FDH. You may have been noticing a pattern here where Verizon takes different signals, amplifies, and splits them to pass them along. Well, that's what the FDH does. It's a passive device that splits the FIO signal into 32 separate lines that can be delivered to individual homes or businesses. Okay, we are almost done. The final step in the process is to install an optical network terminal at the customer's location. This is a smallish box that has the intelligence built right in to take the combined FIO signal and split it back into its separate parts. There you go. Thank Installed is as simple as plugging the Ethernet port into a switch or a computer. The coax cable goes into the home's TV network and the phone line plugs into a phone jack. And just like that, it all works. So now you know all the secrets behind Verizon's Fios service. Amazing amount of infrastructure managed by a great group of geniuses. In the end, well, it's magic. Sweet, I love magic. Let me see what's on this TV. Dude, what are you doing? This isn't even your house.